I first really encountered Gago uh, probably close to 16 or 17 years ago. Uh, when I went to Caracas uh, and saw her extraordinary reticularia and was literally blown away by it. I sort of knew who she was before that, but had never really thought hard about her work. That particular encounter left an indelible impression on me. There's no beginning, middle, or end. It's this remarkable network of associations and possibilities. I do think with some of her series, she plays them out until she's gone as far as she can, and then she moves on to something else. That's certainly true for the Choros. Uh, is difficult to understand in any kind of physical way. You can look at photographs, but those hardly do justice uh, to the work itself. Well, I think there's an incredible dialogue between her sculpture and her works on paper. And that's one of the things that's so fascinating about her is that they're very different and yet they they spring from the same interest in investigating the way in which uh, form is created, the, the tenuousness of the life we lead, the way in which one small error can lead to a much more complicated explosion of possibilities. She's not afraid to make mistakes. She's hardly been uh, as studied as she needs to be. I, as I said, the last 20 years has seen an increasing amount of attention deservedly to her work, but I think she still warrants far more uh, focus, scrutiny, and study because I think the work merits it. And I think we've only begun to understand what she has achieved. Partially that's because her great masterwork uh, is relatively hard to see and has been inaccessible for a considerable period of time. Well, in fact, when I wrote about her, I wrote a, about my desire to have a conversation with her because she's one of those artists that leaves me so intrigued where I think I understand what she's doing, but then I suddenly see something and I realize maybe I don't. And I would love to know what she was thinking about when she started stitching together the reticularia and how she imagined the conversation she was having with her audience when she did that work. Well, it's always a pleasure to talk to you and I'm thrilled that you're doing this work on Gago. She absolutely deserves the attention. She's an artist who has an almost alchemical touch. She takes wire and turns it into magic. She takes uh, a line and fractures, breaks it, and puts it back together in ways we can't even begin to imagine. She can draw without paper. There's just something utterly transfixing about the way in which she creates her art.